Hello, newcomer. Welcome to the vaping world. We've been waiting. Now that you've decided to join the cloudy side of the forest, you're probably wondering what to expect. Here's six things to expect when you start vaping. Starting with number one, how much does it cost? Over the long run, vaping can save you gobs of cash over smoking. You will, however, have a bit of a startup cost depending on your setup. Usually $40 to $60 can get you up and running, but that depends on the device you buy, batteries, and other stuff. We totally have a series of videos about the cost of getting started, so uh, peek those out down in the description below. Number two, terminology. Yep, uh, we vapors have our own lingo. The first term is mod. What does that mean? Well, mod is short for modification, as in the modification of the original e-cigarette. This could be anything from a pod mod style device to those competition unregulated monsters. In the end though, a mod's a mod. Another term is watts, which is short for wattage. This is basically the power being put out by the device to heat up the coils to then atomize the liquid. The higher the watts, the faster the coils heat up, and the quicker the liquid turns into tasty clouds. Usually two people talking about how high they can get their watts are most likely some serious cloud chasers. Number three. ADV. Another term that gets a category all its own is ADV, otherwise known as All Day Vapes. Finding this will be a process all your own and is wholly dependent on your personal tastes. If you like breakfast flavors, go for it. I personally like fruit flavors, like, so very good. Now, if you're unsure as to which flavor you would like, you can uh, click up here and try one of our sample packs. The great thing about finding your All Day Vape is knowing that you'll have a flavor that you like and that you can depend on as you go forward in your vaping journey. Number four, stay hydrated. Why? Well, number one, vaping a lot will make you thirsty. So yeah, drink some water. And number two, vaping the same flavor a lot will give you what's called vape tongue. It's not a terrible condition, don't worry. It just means that you've been vaping the same flavor like it's the last bottle on earth and your tongue is exhausted. So yeah, stay hydrated. Number five, all of the changes. Your sense of smell, stronger. Your sense of taste, tastier. That cough you have, <laughs> and your strength, that of a Norse god. Well, not really, but honestly, once you start vaping again, your sense of smell and taste will return to pre-smoking form. Also, you won't smell like a used ashtray, so there's that. And number six, becoming a vaping guru. It happens to all of us. You went to an all-knowing vape person when you first started. Now look at you. You are the captain now. Now your friends and passerbys will ask you about vaping and where to start. So be the awesome vape ambassador you can be, and that's pretty much it. I hope this better informs you as to what to expect, and as always, happy vaping. Hey guys, it's Emily at Vape Wild. Be sure to click our button and subscribe to our channel, or you could watch more videos over here. Right there. Click one, you know you want to. Click it, click it, click it. Click it right now. Right now, click it. Right now. I don't know what else to do. <laughs>